Das ist ein verregnet Tag. Morgen. Oh, ach du lieber. Video. Guten Morgen, meine Maromaniacs. Das ist Panzermann Bill, Panzermanns Bunker. Coming to you with update ski number two. <laughs> of the Speedy 197's 1960s aircraft. Group build. Shh, take that piece. Yikes! Ah. <laughs> Alright, fellas, on this rainy, rainy Morgan, I'm going to show you what I've been up to. Let's go over to the monitor, if you please. Alright, fellas, here I am starting to put the Bronco together, getting the components together. Painting the inside of the uh, cockpit, uh, the fuselage cockpit walls. Been ready to put that nice cockpit I got together in there. Uh, the fit of this uh, model, I can say it's pretty good. Academy did a good job with the fit of this. Uh, kind of like tongue and groove, everything went together pretty good. Only I'll show you some certain areas of concern as we proceed. Okay? Okay. Das ist gut, das ist gut. Yavoo, we da see. Alright, you can see the wings and the fuselage together. The uh, cockpit fit pretty well in there, not too many problems. Okay. There's the bottom uh, pylons and everything. It's got like a winged uh, two wing sides for the uh, all the weapons load and everything. Little filigree things like the uh, machine guns. I'll put on late, you know, later. I'm gonna be handling a bunch of little filigree type stuff while I'm building it. Don't wanna go breaking it. Mm hmm. Alright. Alright, let's go back. Got a couple more little things to show you. Since this uh, kit was built, it was uh, made, made for just the gears down on the two uh, outriggers of the of the aircraft here. Uh, here's the kit part. I put the two doors together, cut off the tabs for it to you know be in an open position, and it just didn't quite fit the space across there. So of course I had to break out the styrene. Yeah, use the old styrene, Bill. That's a good thing. Good good job. <laughs> All right. And here's the uh, styrene parts fit in there, you know, so I can have it in a flight mode. I'm going to have this sucker in a flight mode. Alright, let me show you what I've got so far, fellas. <laughs> 60s aircraft group build. Alright, here she is. Major construction's done. You look it over. It's got a cool look to the plane. I like the, uh, the twin boom of it pretty cool looking cockpits all in there nice here's the uh, landing gear doors I had to fit in there because I want to have it in the flight mode so a little bit of uh, extra work a little bit of scratch building to have a sucker in flight mode oh, there's a cockpit oh. one other little thing I want to show you guys I thought it was going to be later part, but um, the kit leaves this huge gaping hole here, right behind the bulkhead for the, the second seater guy. There's nothing that goes in there. So looking at the, uh, the box art illustration, it looked like like in most aircraft. That's the part where the radio and some other like avionics controls and stuff went. So it was a real pain in the butt that after it was all put together, I had to make a you know a base and and slide it in there and try and glue it in hold it without falling down in there and put in like something that look, resembles a radio and some other avionics components just to fill that gaping hole because once you put the cock once you put the uh, cockpit glass on there there's nothing down in there you look down in there it's nothing so just to f fill that in if you guys are going to be building this model in the future you might want to address that before you actually put it all together because it's a pain in the nuts trying uh fish that down in there once it's together.
one other little area of concern like I said it the fit of it went pretty good together but the pylon things here that for the weapons uh, load and everything you're gonna definitely need some filler see there's some gaps I'm gonna have to put some filler down in there to fill that flush that out a little bit yeah, right, right there is real bad yeah you see a gaping hole there but you know it's not a model build if you don't have to do some modifications alright fellas hope everybody else's builds are going well uh, Mark I'd like to thank you for having the group build and having a lot of fun working on this got a little diorama a little vignette plan for it so uh, it's still not done yet I gotta paint it up yet and do some other little things but I hope everybody else's builds are going well and until then on this very uh, veregnant uh, Morgan <laughs> I'll be wishing you all a good day. Till then, this is Ponzaman Bill of Ponzaman's Bunker saying, Auf Wiedersehen, mein Damen und Herren. Hubba hubba. Tschüss. Giggity giggity.